Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Tim and I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Now, with the new year comes goals, new goals, new aspirations to learn new things, to build new things. And so on this channel, I wanted to use that as an opportunity to help people who want to learn how to build their own iPhone or Android application. Before, I went over through how to build a website from scratch, but I, what I really love is building iPhone applications and leveraging React Native to do that. I believe the best way to learn programming at any type of level, whether you have three years experience, zero years experience, or 10 years experience, anyone, everyone is always learning new things. And the best way to do that is just build applications, use things that are already in the real world, and then try to create it from scratch. And so I did that with Instagram. So in the next couple of weeks, we're going to go through step by step on React, React Native, how to get everything set up and how to build Instagram from scratch with tools that are already available to everyone for free and then launch that in the App Store. Uh, I'm going to go through and show you what I've built so far and then what the end product we're going to have and how we're going to get there along the way. So now we're going to take a look at the actual app that I built for the end result. I took the Instagram program that I created and I tweaked it a little bit so that I could use it for my own uh, purpose of buying and selling goods uh, in my neighborhood. So as you can see, it's called Sell That and it's on the front page of my application and we open it up and it automatically logs us in. We're going to go in over how to do authentication along with Facebook authentication. And as you can see, it's just like a feed, just like you would have Instagram. You could like photos, you could unlike photos. Uh, you could look at where they're located. So we're going to use a, we're going to leverage a user's location to find items in our area. And you're able to use uh, to check out other people's profiles as well. Uh, I tweaked it so that you could offer and reject and accept uh, offers for items that you're selling through the feed. Uh, you could also comment to that person, uh, just like you could in Instagram. For this, it's specifically to ask about the item that they're selling. And so the, you can see it's pretty flexible in what you could do with it and how you could leverage it. Uh, we also ho have our messages, so you could have messages with multiple people or multiple followers or people following you. Um, and then we have our search, uh, we have discovery, so our discovery feed will just show all the photos, whether you're following or not. And then you can also find people and follow or unfollow those people as well. And you can also leverage the camera itself, as you can see my awesome photo of myself. And we're going to sell this plant. So we're going to leverage the camera's uh, feature on the iPhone. And we're going to post that photo up to Firebase Storage. And now we're going to fill out our post. We have a sweet plant and we're just going to ask a dollar for it. Now one thing that I added was location so that this will also use Google API and find locations around you so they can meet up with people and exchange the item that you're selling. You'd also use the photo library if you want as well. So we're gonna go over how to integrate that into our app. And then the activity feed. So you'll be able to see who liked your post, uh, who started following you, who made an offer specifically for this, and who uh, commented on one of your photos. And you could actually see that person. You could go to their profile and check out who that person is. Uh, and for offers, we're going to be able to accept or reject an offer. If you go to a profile, you can also see the followers, uh, who you're following and who's following you as well. And then just a, a lot of other smaller features to be able to edit your profile, uh, allow notifications so that if someone messages you and you're not in the app, you'll get a notification in the app itself. So we're going to go over all these things step by step uh, and hopefully you could build out your own version of Instagram and learn a ton of programming at the same time. Hope you join. See ya.